Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here, and what the fuck? I hear there are certain booktubers, okay, going around claiming that I've ruined their lives. Bitch, y'all didn't have lives to ruin in the first place. But even if it was true, even if it was true, okay, I'm not gonna say sorry, okay? I'm not gonna say sorry. And as much as I love you, Gavin, I love you. I love you so much. I want to take you from England and lock you in my basement where I can keep you. And nobody else can have you, okay? I love you that much. As much as I love you, claiming I ruined your life is a lie. Is a lie. I'm about to make your life better. Your skin is going to glow. Your crops are going to be watered. Your shits are going to start coming out edible. You're going to thank me. Okay? You're gonna thank me. And you heard it here first from Katie Carlson. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. Katie Carlson, okay? Katie fucking Carlson, okay? She's an absolute booktube darling. I mean, I love Katie, okay? I love her. You cannot, cannot describe Katie in a few words. You just can't. I'm gonna link Katie down below in the description box. If you haven't done so already, please check her out. She is hilarious. Love her so much. So you're probably thinking, why am I doing a video titled Katie Carlson Ruined My Life? Well, I'm just trying to get famous off the back of Katie. That's all I'm doing this for. <laughs> so if I have to step on a bitch, if I have to step on a bitch, I will. Part of me thinks Katie would like that. Yeah, I think she would, yeah. So yes, this is Katie Carlson Ruined My Life, part three. It is a joke, okay, it is a joke. This kind of video is inspired by, well, Jodeline from Jodeline Reads. She did a video called Katie Carlson Ruined My Life and read some recommendations from Katie Carlson, including a particular book that made Jodeline cry and like some sick twisted individual Katie wanted Jodeline to film her do that like read it and then poor Grace Grace okay Grace is Katie's best friend uh, from Grace and Cats check her out too I'll check Jodeline out I've got their channels linked down below too and their videos as well there's part one part two this is part three and Grace honestly I, I was watching Grace's I was laughing at the start of the vlog just like and then I was crying, okay? It was a very quick turnaround. I was crying by the end of the vlog. This is like a tag video at this point, like a tag challenge kind of thing. To read this specific book that Katie absolutely loves and has cried at multiple times. And yeah, I wanted to do it too. I mean, not gonna lie, the book does look incredible. When was the last time I cried? Okay, I remember why I cried. I'm not gonna say why. You're probably thinking, why am I dragging this out? AdSense, okay. Tension, tension. What is the book? What is the book you ask? It is this book. Which I don't think you can really see. Like, this is a very bright, washed out kind of... Why am I filming in front of this? I do not know. Comfort. So the book I will be reading is And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Backman. And this is only like... I'm trying not to look at the last page, but it's like 70 pages or something, maybe 90. Not a lot. I will be able to do this in one sitting. And I'm honestly terrified. I'm terrified. This book sounds like it will end up hitting me hard. It is about an old man who is losing his memory. He has Alzheimer's. And he is speaking to, I think, his grandson, Noah, about, like, his life and about the woman that he loved. And I just know, already know that I'm going to be quite upset at this. So it is quite a hard-hitting book. Like, if you want to read this book, please know that going into it. I am actually currently writing a story with a guy who has Alzheimer's and he's trying to tell his story, his love story before he forgets it. So I feel like this would also be like really good for me for kind of like research for my own writing. It's something that I write on Wattpad so if you want to check that out I will link it down below. I have also lost family members to Alzheimer's so I know this will get me emotional. Any AdSense I make on this video I do want to donate to Alzheimer's Society which is a charity for Alzheimer's for research and development and I will link everything down in the description box for that too. So any AdSense I make, I do want to donate to that. I do think it's going to be absolutely beautiful and wonderful. I want to stop wasting time before the battery runs out before I even start reading. Or am I stalling? Am I stalling? Is the question. And every morning, the way home gets longer and longer. A novella by Frederick Backman. Let's do it.
I bottled all that. I couldn't cry on camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate doing it. I hate, hate crying. Okay, so I... <laughs> Sorry, I hate crying on camera, okay? So, uh, this is this is me as a person. I bought everything in until the very last minute. Uh, so this was... Uh, it was beautifully written. It was... Oh, God. Speak. <laughs> Noah is the grandchild and grandpa's grandpa. I don't think he got an actual like name name. He's just grandpa. The conversations between Noah and his granddad were so heartbreaking. The things that Noah was saying, I was like, as a child, saying that to your grandpa and just as a child understanding or at least like what he was taking from his granddad. Oh my God. It was so deep. It, it was just the way it was being explained, the way that memory and the questions that Noah was asking and the responses that his grandpa was giving. And it just made me think of, oh, it's very hard to read this and not think about how this affects people. And it's just, such, it's the worst disease. It's, I hate it so much. And somehow Frederick Backman made this heartbreaking exchange between not even just the grandpa and the grandson but the grandpa and the son just so poignant and uh, <laughs> I'm so lost for words <laughs> is essentially it like I didn't like enjoy it in that sense that this was an enjoyable book this was one of those books that I've experienced and it's something that's like touched on something or at least a part of my humanity that I can relate to or I kind of get a different perspective on from their perspective. I'm not making sense. I'm really not making sense. I lost my Annie Mary to Alzheimer's in January 2019. She was going through that for such a long time. Such a long time. And how that was affecting my mum because she was my mum's sister. How that affected me as my you know, mum's son and, you know, being her nephew and all of that, it was, yeah, I'm defeated. I'm defeated. Katie Carson's ruined my life. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything left to say, to be honest. There are no words left to say. Katie Carson ruined my life. But yeah, thank you so much for the recommendation, Katie. Fuck you. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I mean, I would recommend it, but if you know, the subject matter is a bit too close to home, then maybe give this one a pass. But it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful way of... Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out everyone else that I've mentioned down in the description box below. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.